Hi, I'm Nadir Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can have turn in place animation in your game. So, this is the easiest way to do it. A lot of videos tell you to rotate the bone, but Unreal Engine have a tool for that to rotate in a bone very easily, automatically. So you don't need to get that bone, rotate it, and all of that. You don't need that. So let me show you an easiest way to do something like this. When you go to right, like this, it play the turn right animation. And when you go to left, like this, it play the turn left animation, and everything works fine. And it's easy to do. So let's just see how we can do that. So for doing that, first of all, open up your character blueprint class, right? And somewhere in your project, you did use add control yaw input, right? So somewhere you did use it for looking left and looking right. So I want to cut this and put it somewhere clean like this. So now with that, first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to show you something. So uh, if you click on your character movement and search for rotation or rot, you can see there is two options in here. Use control desire rotation, right? If you check this and run your game, you can see when I look at left, the leg is sliding with us. You can see it. It's a sliding with us, but aim up and aim down is doing it correctly. We don't want that, right? So first of all, we should see the difference angle between where we are looking at, where we are aiming, and where our character is looking at, where or where the mesh of our character is looking at. So for that, we can get control rotation okay this control rotation is where we are looking at with our camera right and we want to get the rotation of our character the mesh of our character we can get that with get actor rotation right and with that we can get the difference between them with delta rotator it will give us the difference different angle between control rotation and actor rotation let's just connect it and no i want to right click on it and split the stroke pin we need the yaw right so let's just first of all print that yaw we can use a print string and connect the yaw to it okay i want to go here and choose the change the duration to zero and let's just compile and run our game now you can see the zero at top left corner when our camera is looking at right again it's zero because our the body of our character is rotating with the camera and we don't want that at the beginning just disable the use control desire rotation and when we run you can see when our camera is looking to the right it will the value the delta rotator for yaw is going positive and you can see it go to 90 degree and when we go to left you can see it go to minus values right so for example we can say if this yaw delta yaw is more than 90 play the turn right animation okay so let's just delete this we can say if this delta yaw is greater than 90 okay if it's greater than 90 it means we want to play the turn right animation and if it is less than no, minus 90 it should play the turn left animation no, I need the execution pin. So let's just get the execution pin from this add control yaw input because it's more than enough. And in here, I want to search for sequence because I need three execution pin uh, for this parallel, right? Then zero, then one, then two. No, with that. Uh, first of all, I want to check if we are turning right or if we are turning left. So let's just use the first execution pin and use a branch, okay? And with this branch, we want to check if the delta yaw is more than 90. It means that we are turning right right so we need two boolean variables so let's just create two of them in here first one i want to call it turn right with question mark and the next one i want to call it turn left with question mark okay both of them are boolean now if the delta yaw is more than 90 if this is true turn right should set to true because we want to play the turn right animation so connect the true to here everything cool with that now let's just do the same for turn left we can just grab this then one execution pin and use another branch in here if the delta yaw is less than minus 90 we want to connect it to branch and if it is less than 90 it means the turn left animation should play so we set the turn left like this if this is true and after that what i want to do in character movement you remember we did use use control desire rotation for rotating our character to a slide to that uh, angle that we want right so with that we can get this character movement get it like this in here and search for 
use control desire rotation and we want to set it right it's easy so we want to enable use control desire rotation and we want to do it for turn lift as well so let's just connect it to here as well and it need a target let's just connect it there and again if you click on character movement you can see the orient rotation to movement should be false as well so let's just make sure that it is false again i want to grab this character movement let's just put it there and search for orient rotation to movement and i want to make it false so let's just connect it to here and let's just grab it copy it and paste it here as well and connect the execution pin to here as well no everything is set up let's just play our game to see if it's working or not right now you can see i can aim to left and right but if we go more than 90 degree you can see our character is rotating to that um the mesh of our character is rotating to that angle that we are looking at right and now you can see it's not disabled okay so with that everything is set up and we can play our animation but one thing that i want to do i want to go to our character movement and change the rotation rate right now it's 360 it's a lot i want to decrease it to 120 because it's a sliding too fast again let's just test it if we are looking at these angles uh, it's okay and if we go more than 90 you can see everything is looking cool no with that we want to play our animation right animation turn right and turn left let's just go to content drawer and open up our anim animation blueprint right double click on it to open it first of all what i'm going to do i want to get these variables turn right and turn left so for getting that i can uh like this we have the character and we can grab it from here okay and we can search for turn right okay get turn right and we need turn left as well so let's just get that as well turn left okay that's cool as well and we want to promote it to a variable right so we have we can use it in our animation blueprint promote to variable it is cool again for this one promote to variable as well and it need the execution pin let's just use this execution pin from here and here or we could just get the execution pin from here from a sequence okay so then one we want to use this execution pin and we can disconnect this okay it's easy you can just use this or you can just use a sequence node to give it a execution pin at the bottom for getting these two variables know that we have turn right and turn left let's just go to our let me show you the anim graph right in anim graph what i want to do i want to go to ground locomotion why because the turn right and turn left is a part of locomotion so just double click on it and you can see we have uh, this state machine let's just grab all of these put it to the right and i want to create two states one for turn left and one for turn right so let's just grab from here to here and add an state and i want to call it turn left okay and i want to add another one from here to here and i want to call it turn right okay and now with that first of all let's just give it those animation if we go to turn left okay and in here i want to search for turn and what i want to do this is turn left so turn in place let me find it turn left turn left 90 degrees so let's just connect it there that's finished this is the animation for turning left there is turn right as well so turn right 90 degree okay everything cool let's just compile it give us some warning because this condition is not set yet right so for turning left let's just double click on it first of all we want to check if turn left is true or not after that we want to get the speed and if a speed is equal to zero and turn of turn left is true play the turn left animation right so i can use and boolean for this let's just connect the turn left to here and turn right to here and connect these to here no turn left will be played no let's just go to grand locomotion and do it for turn right as well you do it yourself it's easy we need to check turn right in here and we need to uh you get the speed if the speed is zero is equal to zero we use and boolean for checking if both of these is true okay when the speed is more than zero we don't want to run turn right or turn left animation we want to uh, play the run or walk animation right so that's why we check for the speed now let's just connect it to here and with that our turn right and turn left animation will be played but when it should come back to idle let's just give it that first of all i want to give it one and click on it and tell it when the animation is finished uh, automatically automatically go to idle okay 
and I want to do it for turn right as well, just click on it and check these automatic rule based on sequence player in a state, right? Just check that. And I want to add another state to here, okay? The next one is this. When you hover over it, you can see there is nothing in it. So double click on it for turn left. When uh, our animation state should go back to idle. First of all, I want to get the speed. If the speed is greater than for example, some value, one, for example, right? If it is more than one, we want to go back to idle animation and after that go back, go to run, walk, or whatever, right? So we want to check this and this is fine. Next, we want to check if turn left is false, okay? If we are not turning left, it should go back to idle again. So we can check it with not boolean because we want to check if it is false, right? Next one, we want to check if turn left animation is finished playing. So we can search for time remaining, okay, of turn left, um, turn left animation, okay? We want to check that if it is equal to zero. If all of this is true, we want to go back to idle, but we don't want to go back to idle when the turn left animation is played. So what I want to do, first of all, I want to use a AND boolean in here. I want to check if the inverse of turn left is true and, and the turn left animation is finished playing. Okay, go back to idle. And I want all of these to use a boolean in here. If this is true, go back to idle. If bo the, both of these is true, go back to idle, okay? It's important to both of these will be true to go back to idle, right? So let's just connect it there. And I think we are finished with this and we can just copy all of these and do it for turn right to idle animation as well. So let's just connect this here and double click on here. And I wanna paste it here. The speed is itself, but we wanna change this time remaining. This is for turn left, but we wanna turn right. We want a time remaining for turn right, no. So let's just give it that. And in here, we don't need turn left, we need turn right. So let's just connect it there. And I think everything is finished and we can connect these or Boolean to here. So if we compile and run our game, you can see when I go to left after 90 degree, the animation is playing correctly, but the animation is playing again and again and again. Why? Because we didn't disable the loop animation in here, okay? So click on your animation and go to loop animation and disable it and disable it for turn right as well. So click on it and uncheck this loop animation. Now let's just run our game again after 90 degree. You can see it playing turn right animation and it will do it once. But after that, you can see it's a sliding again. Why it's a sliding and it's not playing turn left and turn right after one time? Because we enable use control desire rotation, but we didn't disable it uh, after that. One way to do it, we can check if the uh, delta y is equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, let's just use a branch in here branch if it is equal to zero disable this use control desire rotation in here like this disable it and it needs a target so let's just give it the target like this and we want to enable orient rotation to movement again let's just put it there it needs a target as well so let's just give it the execution pin and if it is zero both of these turn right and turn left should be false so let's just connect it here and make them false if the delta y is zero it should be false we shouldn't turn right or turn left right so let's just compile and run if we go 90 degree you can see the animation is playing once if we go to left you can see the animation turn left is playing once again everything is working fine everything is cool so that's how easy you can have turn right and turn left animation and if you if you are a beginner just wait for, for my course uh it's like two months that i'm working on my course and it will be ready after three months or four months more i want to give it as much as possible i want to teach everything in my course so that was it guys for this video i hope you like it please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye